Welcome to the press conference of the State of Qatar and OPEC on the occasion of OPEC's 50th anniversary being marked by a concert by the Qatar Philharmonic Orchestra. It is our uh, pleasure to bring our Philharmonic Orchestra, which is Qatar Philharmonic Orchestra, all the way to the place where all the music, all the art, I think it is Vienna, I, and you agree with me. The whole orchestra has 101 members, and three years ago in June 2007, I was asked uh, to create a new orchestra with a high musical standard for Qatar. We have an Arabic from three different Arabic countries, Qatar. We will uh, perform for a Qatari composer. We cannot describe music with words. Tomorrow evening, the notes of the music which we composed will talk, and I think that the right place would be at the concert hall. We expect that this concert will further reveal the other side of OPEC member countries that were not just about oil, and we hope that we, you, you would appreciate all the efforts that had gone into putting this together. Supporting stability and fueling prosperity was OPEC's main achievement throughout 50 years since its birth in 1960. The organization's Golden Jubilee was celebrated in 2010 with different events which took place in Vienna and in its member countries. I've been covering OPEC since 1988 off and on so for 22 years. You know, one of the things I was saying during the coverage this, this time for the 50th anniversary is that, you know, it's quite extraordinary to see an organization used to have meetings that would last seven days, 10 days, 14 days, with a, not a, an easy decision-making apparatus to go to a one-day meeting, very business-like, very consensus-driven, and very predictable for the financial markets. Now that's quite a change from where we were, you know, five, ten years ago. So it's it's a real compliment to within the organization itself. Austria is very proud to host OPEC for the past 50 years and that its uh, international staff are living and working here, bringing international flair to the country. The 101 musicians of the Qatar Philharmonic Orchestra, based in Doha, the capital of the country with the world's highest GDP, brought to the multicultural society in Vienna, the city with the world's best quality of life, a concert with a unique program highlighting its diverse cultural heritage. We have selected the Qatar Philharmonic to perform tonight as like OPEC. The orchestra illustrates that great achievements are possible when committed people come together in the pursuit of a common goal. This is a small contribution from the state of Qatar to OPEC on the occasion of the organization's 50th anniversary. And we tried to celebrate the organization's 50th anniversary with a unique and untypical way. 
So I am very glad that they performed in front of 1,500 guests that were very impressed by the excellent performance of the orchestra and interacted greatly with the unique performance of the orchestra. I am very impressed. I am fascinated. Thank God the meeting today went very well and ended with this great celebration. So my colleagues and myself are very pleased. Honestly, we did not expect such a performance and unfortunately, it is rare to see something like this in the Arab world and tonight all people were happy to hear such music. Well, it was really wonderful. Really, from the, uh, the selection also, I think it was very, very well chosen and every, everybody was delighted. I think we should congratulate uh, the, uh, Qatar for uh, uh, bringing us to this uh, wonderful, wonderful presentation. Thank God, the feeling is incredible. The attendance was unique and we had the honor with the presence of His Excellency the Deputy Premier and Minister of Energy and all OPEC ministers. The way how the audience interacted with the symphony orchestra created a great atmosphere in the concert hall. I find it beautiful that there are many women among the musicians. The Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra had only male musicians for many years, and only since a few years they have female musicians among them. Also the atmosphere was very good, and of course, when at the end the Radetzky Marsh was played, this was amazing. So honestly, it's the first time I heard the Scherzade. But I'm deeply impressed. Uh, the piece is wonderful, but the orchestra, there's, there are so many soloists in this part, and everyone is marvelous. First of all, Vienna is the city of music. And when you have a city for music, then you have an address for beauty. And beauty has no home, just like music. Music has no home. It belongs to the whole world. We enjoyed the performance. It was very, very nice. It was very impressive. I enjoyed uh, this concert to see so much mu musician for all over the world. It, it's, it's the big present for us. The Qatar Philharmonic Orchestra reflect the country's open, modern, education and science oriented approach of the 21st century, building bridges for peace and bringing healing power to their audiences. Yeah, from a medical point of view, I would say it's, uh, it's uh, truly healthy. It's some kind of therapy, and I think it is good for your immune system. At least it is good for my immune system. Vienna is the city of dreams for all creative people, whether musicians, composers or artists. And Doha is the city of dreams for the world's business community. But both cities create a perfect location for multicultural societies to live in. I tell you something, I'm always asked, where, where is your home? It's Doha. I live in Doha, it's, it's my home now, sorry, I'm 12 months or 11 months in Doha and uh, it's nice to live there, sometimes a little bit hot but we have everything and it's, it's very nice and I like it really, really to live there. Oh, I like it uh, very much to live in Doha, it's, uh, all the time it's nice the weather, it's a little bit too hot but when it's on it, it's very nice. Uh, her Highness Cheka Musa, she chose our dress. For our comfort. I think people are looking now to Qatar and saying, geez, Sheikh Moza had something in mind here that we didn't really understand five or six years ago. It's actually blossomed into something we can understand uh, in a bigger way. Living in Doha or Vienna, whether a child or an adult, some concert visitors had their own way of appreciation. Du 
du allein sollst sie die Stadt meiner Träume sein. But maybe there's also a song in Katar I could sing, but I would love to learn it and then I sing it next time for you. <laughs>